Okay, grade 12, we're answering a past paper question, Department of Basic Education, November 2018's paper, okay? So we're going through all the statistics. And this one over here has cumulative frequency. For the other two questions that I answered, I wrote out everything that I was doing. But I thought for this one here with the cumulative frequency, we could I could show you exactly how to answer it and what you have to write down, okay? This one here says that this cumulative frequency graph shows the total number of food items ordered from a menu over a period of one hour. We actually did this in class, but this is just a reminder for you guys on what exactly you need to do. Okay, it says, okay, here's the cumulative frequency graph. It looks like an S. We know that this year is the total amount over there, okay? And these are the intervals that they're giving us, okay? So 0 to 10, 10 to 20. 20 to 30 minutes okay all right it says write down the total number of food items ordered from the menu during this hour okay and for this year all you have to do is write down the y value at this particular point over here so the y value at this particular point we can see it it's 140 so all you're going to write down is 140 that's it. Hey, okay, and that's your mark. Second question, write down the modal class of this data. What do they mean by this? They want to know which one has the highest frequency. Now, if you look over here, the highest frequency in this thing would have the sharpest gradient, basically, the biggest increase. And you can see from minute 20 to minute 30, there's the biggest increase. We're going to write that down. So, Point one, point two, between oh, well, if you wanted to, you could have done it like this. Okay. Question one point one point three. How long did it take? Uh, how long did it take to, uh, to order the first 30 food items? Now on the side of the um, axis, on the y-axis, is our food items. And the side over here is our minutes. So we're looking at the first 30. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here to 30. Let me grab a pencil for this. The first 30 minutes, uh, I mean 30 food items is over here. And you're going to draw a dotted line and use your ruler and look for where it touches the graph. This one here has a perfect grid for us, so it's so much easier. So it's all the way here at this point. And now we're going to read what it is on the x-axis. And if you can see, it's perfectly straight line going down to 20. So that means the first 30 items were ordered within the first 20 minutes. So let's write that down. It said, how long did it take? So... That's all we need to write down. Okay, next question. How many food items were ordered in the last 15 minutes? Now for this one over here. What we're going to do is we know that this whole thing here is one hour. So 60 minutes is over here. 45 minutes from minute 45 all the way to minute 60 would be the last 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just mark off minute 45 over there. Okay, minute 45 is there and now we need to read what the y value of this is so that means we're reading all the way up all the way till it touches the graph whatever that number is and you're going to read it from the y-axis so i'm going to do that okay i went ahead and i made it a bit darker so that it's easier for us to see and you guys to see on the camera there it is minute 45 we said was here so it's all the way up that it touches the graph i just darken that line and all the way with your ruler not like i did freehand but this one here is a grid so it made it so much easier but basically all the way from this point on this line till it touches the y-axis so that we can read the point i noticed that each um, marking on the y-axis counted in twos and here at the bottom each marking counted as one so the side over here it was 126 so now i know that 126 up until 140 that's how many were ordered in that 15 minutes right so let's write this down
And here we go. Okay. Let's continue. Um, what is it? There it is. Determine the 75th percentile of this data. What does 75th percentile mean? That's basically three quarter of the data, isn't it? Or 75 over 100. So let's write this down. 1.1.5. 1 